One of the first things you'll want to do on your new team site is change the home page text, and it's very straightforward. Switching to editing mode is done in two ways, by clicking the small edit icon or the page tab, then the edit button. The default home page is made up of three distinct elements, text, a picture, and a web part, which is connected to this site's shared documents library. In this clip, we'll look at working with text and layout options. One of the benefits of SharePoint is you don't have to be a web designer to work with web pages. SharePoint 2010 introduces a contextual ribbon, which provides all the tools you need as you need them. For instance, there are familiar commands in the font and paragraph groups and options to add style or change the page layout. Note that this default home page is based on a two-column layout. Although the layout can be changed at any time, it's always a good idea to start with the layout that you want. Let me say at this point that those who are familiar with HTML can edit the source code directly. However, in this clip we'll be working with the visual interface. I'll start by replacing the heading text. The style of the heading is determined by one of the markup styles. Markup styles are used to insert specific HTML elements, including headings, horizontal rules or lines, paragraphs, and callouts. Beneath the heading, I'll add a horizontal rule. Then select the existing text and paste in some I've created. The options under the Styles button are used when you want to add style to a selected portion of text such as to highlight or draw attention to a selection. For this example, I'll apply the tagline style. Styles are the preferred way to design a web page. However, similar to Microsoft Word, you can add formatting directly to selected text using the options in the font group. For example, should you want to add italic or bold to a selection. And of course, it's easy to create a numbered or bulleted list and use other options in the paragraph group. After changes are made to the page, there are several options for saving. There's a Save and Close icon, a Save and Close button, or options underneath to save and keep editing or stop editing. At this point, I'll click Save and Keep Editing as I want to change the picture on the page, but we'll walk through those steps in a separate clip.